Hello. Here we are on page 56 and 57, Leshesky solution. I'm going to move the camera over in a moment. We're going to do the right hand first. So on page 57, what you do with the Leshesky solution to the awkwardness of the fourth finger and the weakness of the, the pinky, all right? Well, actually, this is the, the thumb is the most awkward for downward motion. The fourth finger is the least independent and the most difficult to control because of that tendon that goes like this across in a V formation. And that tendon puts the middle finger and the pinky kind of together with this one. So when you have you try to move this one, those other two try to move as well, all right? And it's just really awkward to move. Um, so on the Shesky solution on page 57, Let's do the right hand first, okay? I think you can see my hands, my fingers, all right? What you do, you hold all five notes down, and then the thumb just comes up off of the key. Now second finger plays, and it goes up about a third of an inch. So does the third finger. Here's a fourth finger, tough. Take it up as high as you can. And pinky. Notice my hands, my fingers are all curved. The wrist is still elevated. You're playing like this, like you should. Let's do it again, right hand. Ready, and cluster, thumb, thumb, thumb. Cluster, thumb, thumb, thumb. Cluster, second finger. Cluster, second finger. Cluster, third finger. Cluster, third finger. Cluster, fourth finger. Cluster, fourth finger again. And now cluster, pinky. Now, over here for the left hand, okay? There you go, you can see my left hand. All right, here we go. And cluster, thumb, thumb, thumb. Cluster, thumb, thumb, thumb. Cluster, second finger. Cluster, second finger. Cluster, third finger. Cluster, third finger. Cluster, fourth finger. Keep that baby up as high as you can. And cluster, pinky, which you can't see because I can't figure this out right. <laughs> Sorry about that. There you go. All right, let's try it one more time. Ready? And cluster, thumb. Cluster, thumb. And this is a pretty good tempo in which to take the piece or to do the practice. And the fourth finger. And pinky. Just like can-can dancers, you try to get the fourth finger and the third finger to kick up as much as you can, uh, uh, pinky, to kick up as much as you can. And you can practice this while sitting in class. All right? Now we're going to do both hands. All right? Here we go. Cluster thumbs. Cluster thumbs. Cluster second fingers. Cluster second fingers third fingers. Again, you do not need a piano to practice this. Kick that finger up as high as you can. And notice again, the pinky still is curved. Not this way. But keep it 
went dirt. All right. 